So I know that we're all trying to process the last mass shooting in this country, assuming that there's not another one between the time that I record this video and upload it to YouTube. But for a second, I want to go back to the previous mass shooting and have this conversation once again about white supremacy, because I think this is too important to ignore. Um, so the reason why the gunman chose to go to a black neighborhood and kill those people was because he believed in the Great Replacement Conspiracy Theory, which has been pushed and mainstreamed by Fox News and many prominent conservatives. So there's a poll that just came out by Yahoo News and YouGov, and they asked Trump voters, how many of you believe in the core tenet of the Great Replacement Theory? This isn't the actual phrasing, but this is what they were trying to gauge. The number is going to absolutely shake every single person who cares to their core, because it is astonishing to me. As the Hill explains, more than 60% of Americans who voted for former President Trump agree with the core tenet of the Great Replacement Theory, according to a new Yahoo News YouGov poll. The poll published on Tuesday found that 61% of Trump supporters agree with the statement that a group of people in this country are trying to replace native-born Americans with immigrants and people of color who share their political views. 22% of Trump supporters surveyed said they disagreed with the conspiracy theory. Meanwhile, 16 percent of respondents who voted for President Joe Biden said they agree with the statement, while 71 percent said otherwise. 73 percent of Trump supporters agreed with the statement that there is discrimination against white people in the United States, and 18 percent disagreed compared with 20 percent of Biden supporters who agreed and 74 percent who disagreed. 69 percent of respondents who voted for Trump said that they are concerned U.S.-born citizens are losing economic, political, and cultural influence in the country to immigrants, while 30 percent of of those who voted for Biden agreed with that statement. Now, we'll talk about the main takeaway from this poll, which is the 61% of Trump supporters that are buying into a white supremacist conspiracy theory, but I have to touch on the 16%, 16% of Biden voters, recent Democratic Party voters who are agreeing with the core tenet of a white supremacist conspiracy theory. That number shouldn't even be 1%. It should be 0%. But anything more than 1% in the Democratic Party should shock everyone. And it's at 16%. That is not an insignificant number. More than 1 in 10 Biden voters believe in the core tenet of the Great Replacement Theory. What does this tell us? What is the lesson? The lesson is that White supremacist conspiracy theories are very quickly going mainstream enough so even Democratic Party voters who usually aren't receptive to these types of messages are buying into it. And fascism, it takes hold because normies get convinced that these types of things are actually real. For example, Viktor Orban, the dictator in Hungary, he really consolidated power by doing populism. Now, when I say populism, I'm not talking about popular policies that a majority of citizens love. I'm talking about populism in the form of weaponizing hate, making hate popular, cracking down on LGBTQ plus students, uh, no, LGBTQ plus teachers more specifically. So he decided to ban any talks of gender expression and uh, sexual orientation in schools in Hungary. And then guess what happened in the United States? Oh, look at that. Ron DeSantis, Florida governor, potential 2024 presidential candidate, decided to do the same in Florida. And you think that since we've moved on as a society and have changed our opinions about LGBTQ plus people, you know, voters in Florida would reject that. He'd lose popularity. But guess what happened? He got more popular. Even Democratic Party voters bought into the don't say gay law because fascism, it takes hold and its popularity will shock you. I know you think that it's inconceivable, but it is very, very popular because it's not just sold as, hey, do you all like fascism and want to be fascists? It's sold in a covert way. It's sold in an insidious way. And because this is how it operates, well, now white supremacist conspiracy theories are being eaten up by even Democratic Party primary voters, 16%. 16%. Now, 61% of Trump supporters believe in the core tenet of the Great Replacement Theory, and Trump is the Republican Party. So the majority of one of two major parties in the United States, the only two parties that are electorally, uh, electorally viable, one of them is completely white supremacist. They've bought in to white supremacist conspiracy theories. I don't think people can comprehend how destructive this is 
for society, for democracy, what this means for marginalized people, people of color, black Americans going forward. That's 61% of the base of an entire political party believes white supremacist talking points. It is absolutely astonishing to me, but I, I can't say that I'm shocked. Now, it's worth pointing out that weaponizing hatred, using it as a political tool, is a very, very effective strategy for capitalists. They want to distract you from the fact that elites in this country are robbing you blind. Your wages aren't stagnating because of your employer exploiting you. Your wages are stagnating because of immigrants. They're driving down, you know, the cost of labor for everyone. Blame them. Don't blame your capitalist employer. And on top of that, you see the way that they're attacking public education. Having an uninformed populace is very useful for neoliberals. It's very useful when fascism comes into play. It's just, we are in such bad shape as a country that I genuinely do not know if we can recover as a country. And I don't know what that means. Do we remain a country? Do states start breaking off and seceding? What's going to happen? Because it's so bad that it's unsustainable, and the trajectory that we are on is just nonstop violence in this country. We're already seeing more violence every single day, but having it become a more common phenomenon is an inevitability at this point if things don't change for the better. But the problem is that for the people who want things to change and they want a revolution of some sorts, at this point, we're having a revolution. The problem is that the fascists are winning that revolution, and we need to be clear about that. The fascists are winning the political revolution in the United States of America. Don't pretend as if that isn't the case. Don't pretend as if Donald Trump doesn't represent all Republicans. Acknowledge that the fascists are winning in the United States of America. And now they're spreading fascism globally. We just saw CPAC hungry. There's going to be CPAC in uh, Brazil in mid-June. So we're seeing literally the formation of a global fascist movement. And... People still are pretending as if things can change in this country by um, hoping and praying, I guess, and, and voting harder. No, things are getting really bad in this country, and we're actually beginning to get to a point where it's time to get Americans out of certain states. It's time to get Americans into different countries and have them seek asylum in Canada or other countries because this is not sustainable. And I know that that might scare people or seem overly doomer, but I'd rather you be scared and prepared than just kind of have fascism when it becomes explicitly and overtly violent hit you in the face. I want you to expect it. So that's where we're at. Do you enjoy watching independent news shows like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, and The Majority Report, but oftentimes YouTube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box? Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called the Opt Out app, available right now in the iOS App Store, coming soon to Android. Opt Out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location. You'll find all your favorites on there, like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, The Majority Report, and the app is updated multiple times per day, so your news feed is constantly constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today. I'm going to come. Do not come. 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 Come.